In this video, I'm going to show you another DMR programming tutorial. I'm going to try to do everything, every type of system you're going to encounter on radio reference, um, say LTR standard, Project 25, Phase 1. Um, today, we're going to be doing this one here. We're going to use Copper Mountain Solar. It's a DMR conventional network. Um, so this is one you'll come across. I get a lot of questions about DMR, so I want to just kind of cover all these so it's uh, organized really well on the channel. So each tutorial is its own. Um, system basically. So this is going to be Copper Mountain Solar. So we're going to click into it. Uh, this will look semi-familiar. Um, we got our sites, we got our names, we got our frequencies, and then you'll notice CC7. So we got the color codes here. Uh, and then if we click into each one of these, it's going to give us a little more info. So we got uh, the latitude, longitude, and then the range, and then the map, of course, to kind of show where that is. And then um, we're just going to go back to this page. So we're going to open up Sentinel and we're going to just copy this site name over. So we're going to start in Sentinel. Again, if, you're, if your radio is connected, remember to read from your scanner uh, before you start. And then um, go ahead and go to Edit, <clears throat> Edit Favorites List. And we'll do a new favorites list and we're just going to name this Copper Mountain Solar DMR. And you can name that whatever you want, obviously, just uh, whatever you can remember. And then uh, so we're inside of the favorites list editor now, separate window. Um, whoops. And then now what we want to do is just create a system. And then in this case, this is going to be different. Last time we did the Moto Turbo. Uh, this one's going to be a DMR1 frequency. Uh, the system name is, we're just going to call this uh, the same thing. I'm just going to name that Copper Mountain Solar DMR. And now what we want to do is just click into the system over here on the left. And then we want to go straight into sites. We want to add one, two, and then three sites. Because if we come over here, we got site one, site two, and site three. So I'm just going to uh, copy this first one. And then we're going to run over to Sentinel. And in here, we'll just go ahead and paste uh, I don't know why that won't paste. OK, come on. copy this over I guess okay and then the next one site number two Trying to go a little bit slower too, guys. Uh, I've been told I go a little bit too fast sometimes, so hopefully I um, slow down a little bit here. Um, so site three now. We'll click into site three, grab this last one. I'm not used to this mouse, sorry. Um, and then we went back into Sentinel, last site. So we got our um, our first site, second site, and third site um, numbered zero, one, and two over here on the left. Um, and then what we want to do is click into the first site, and then we want to add the frequency. So now we want to click into the first site. Uh, we'll see this frequencies. We want to click the plus sign, and then we want to grab the frequency. So we'll go back. And then we can just grab this right from here. So we should be able to just copy this, paste it in there. And then we'll go a color code seven. Um, there's nothing that you need to do inside of here uh, in the options. Location, obviously, we want to grab, uh, we want to grab that location while we're in here. 
want to just get everything knocked out uh, one at a time here so we don't have to go back and forth. And then uh, the longitude is going to be And then 10 for the range. Okay, circle, we'll leave that as circle. Um, so now we got our frequency, we got our location. Now we'll go into site two. Same thing, frequency. Color code seven, and then options, uh, latitude, longitude, and then we want to come in here, grab that real quick again. range 10 okay so that one's done now site number three again when we click into site three add frequency color code seven Okay, so that one's done. And now we want to dive back into the system. And now we want to add a department. And uh, we can name this, um, can name this uh, department, we'll just, we'll just leave that uh, Copper Mountain. Maybe something like that. Again, just a just a demo here. So, um, and then if we go into the department, we can add a channel. Okay, and then um, we don't need to do anything in options. Um, Location, we don't really need to do anything with this. I believe all these locations were, um, let's look at these real quick. I wasn't paying attention. Are these all, well, obviously these are different locations. So um, we'll just leave, we'll just, we'll just leave this blank inside of Sentinel. Uh, you don't need to do anything with that right there. Um, so just leave that blank, come into channels. Um, So, oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so now we just need to grab the TGID. Um, so if we come back over here, uh, we got our top group, so it's 500. And then we see the tag is business, so we'll go ahead and um, use that as business. So we come over here, 500 and then service type we can drop down since they label it as business we'll just select business there uh, and you can select whatever you want really it's just up to you um, and then that's uh, should be it let's see let's double check here
Yeah, so slot, TDMA slot, either can be used. So if you see this star, if you, you'll have the slot number here. Um, you'll notice the TDMA slot. So we can just leave it as any. Um, yeah, and then um, we got our talk group. So that's all we need to do. Uh, if we run back over here, we'll just go ahead and click File, Save. And then we'll go ahead and exit. And then it'll pop up down below. And here it is. Now we can just go ahead and click Scanner. Um, I've already read from my scanner, so I'm just going to go ahead and write. Erase Favorites List. Go ahead and, and write to your scanner. And while that's loading, I do have a new store as well. Um, I'll link that on this video. You'll see it. It should pop up on this video or below it somewhere below the description. If you guys want to support the channel, I'm uh, going to be releasing some products on there uh, through Fourth Wall. So that'll be shop.boyinascanner.com. Um, again, it's linked right to the channel here. So if you want to support, go ahead and uh, click that. And if you want to jump on my email list at boyinascanner.com, that would be uh, great. I would appreciate it. And again, leave me your questions, comments, um, any tutorial videos you want to see. I want to be, I want to start doing these a lot more. I have a lot of fun doing this. So um, again, thanks for being here. Make sure to subscribe and um, click the bell so you get notifications and share this video around if it helps you um, to any of your friends that might have scanners. And um, I'm excited. I got some new content coming out. So stick, stick around. I'll be pretty busy this coming week recording. Um, so uh, yeah, so stay tuned and um, yeah, we'll just wait for this to load real quick and then we'll uh, close out the video. This is the last step, just writing to the scanner. So again, um, leave me your comments, questions, whatever you have about any other any other things you want to see uh, going over the SDS 100. I want to keep all these tutorials uh, very separate. You know what I mean? So no, I don't want to do everything in one video. I want to do all these systems one at a time. Um, anyway. That's it. All right, we're there. So it's uh, programmed on the scanner. Again, that was a DMR1 frequency. You'll see that the system type in radio reference shows up as a DMR conventional network. So uh, when you're surfing here in the trunked, in the trunked section of your county or wherever you're looking and you see this uh, DMR conventional networked, which is the one we use today, um, that's what that means. It's DMR1. Last time we did a Moto Turbo, which is, shows shows as a DMR Motorola Capacity Plus single site. So again, thanks for being here, guys. Um, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.